It's Bonnie. Happy Sunday. Oh my gosh, you guys. I hope you want to hang out with me for about 15 minutes this afternoon because we're going to do a little chat session about shower gel and I got my use it up box here. So, oh my gosh. Can I just say I got a problem with Bath and Body Works shower gel and hand soap. I literally buy from every collection at least one shower gel. Sometimes I buy more than one if it goes on sale for like $6.50 because I have my favorites. But what happens is you start to get a little too much shower gel. Now, I do gift some off to friends and family if I get like a really big surplus. But I'm also hearing from a lot of my viewers that even if you're not a vlogger, you sometimes get too much shower gel in your collection. So I want to talk about like Bath and Body Works as a consumable. Like at what point do you say, I got way too much, I got to declutter this collection, and I got to start, you know, a little bit um, fresh. So I kind of have mixed feelings about collecting body care. On the one hand, it's kind of fun to have scents from like a couple of years ago. If you only have like one or two favorite scents, the hard part is if you're trying to collect every scent, you got to have a lot of storage space. I like to do it for the fine fragrance mist because these don't take up a lot of room. A lot of you have seen the bookcase that I have in my room. It looks like this. I'm able to store these pretty well. And then for me, it's advantageous because then I can be like, oh, yeah, I'm going to show you every bottle style that Champagne Toast has ever been in. So I like to do it for myself. But for the average consumer, you got to really kind of think how big you want your collection to be. And there's no right answer. I mean, if you've got the storage space, you know, you can have a Bath and Body Works store. <laughs> But a lot of people are like, how do I have a manageable collection? So what I like to do is I like to create every month a use it up box, especially for shower gel, because I feel like shower gel is more of a consumable for me. I mean, I use the mist, I use the body cream, I use the lotion, but I don't use it quite as much as I use the shower gel. And I give myself permission to use a heck of a lot of shower gel. So <laughs> at any given point, I've got probably like 10 shower gels in a rack in my bathroom. Sometimes for a shower, I use two or three different shower gels. I like the aromatherapy. It makes me feel good. I also use these as bubble bath. So I'm a huge fan of Epsom salt. Um, so if I put Epsom salt in the bathtub, I will literally dump half a bottle of Bath & Body Works bubble bath in my bathtub makes a great bubble bath. I have no guilt whatsoever because you know what? I got too much. <laughs> so you really have to kind of in your brain quantify that this is a consumable product. And if you've got an excess, use it up. It's, you know, treat yourself. What does this cost? If you get it on sale, $6.50, that's as much as like a Starbucks latte in some areas and you got yourself a really nice aromatherapy session and you can easily get two or three bubble baths out of one bottle. So I say go for it. <laughs> also, say if you have a scent that you just don't like and you know you're down to about here, just toss it. You know, no one is going to care if you decide you don't like a scent and you go, you know what, this scent's not for me, I'm moving on to the next scent. So sometimes you just have to give yourself permission to use your collection like you want to use your collection. I know that sounds weird, but I do that all the time. So I'm going to go through um, my little bin here. I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I get 15 of them. Now, in our main bathroom, I mean, I'm using it, my mom's using it, my daughter's using it, and then my husband is kind of, he's got the master bathroom right now he's been using. Uh, I like the shower in the main bathroom better, but um, for the three of us, we just say, we'll use as much shower gel as we want. Go for it. <laughs> so the first three that I've actually put in here are the new ones because I want to try these out and do a ranking. I've got the uh, Whipped Berry Meringue, I've got the Bubbly Rosé, which I think my mom's going to love, and the Peach Prosecco Macaroon. So those are going 
front and center. I'm going to try those tonight. I'll probably use all three. Coconut pineapple. Oh my gosh. This one is so refreshing. I love coconut pineapple so much. I tried to pick scents that I know are going to make me happy in February because I'm not really into snow right now. I'm, I'm kind of not liking the snow scents. The only winter scent that I put in my bin is Twisted Peppermint. For some reason, I can use this one all year. Peppermint does not really remind me of Christmas. It just makes me happy all the time. Um, Oahu Coconut Sunset. I love this one. Oh my gosh. And you know tropicals are coming. So I tried to add a couple of tropicals in here to kind of get me in the mood for what's coming. Um, lemon Drop Martini. Remember this one? I like this one. This is a nice fresh lemon, um, but it's not like sour lemon. Strawberry Pound Cake and chocolate covered cherry. Oh my gosh. Last year, Claudia, thank you so much. Claudia sent me five of these. <laughs> she surprised me. I love this one. I think I still have two more left, but you know what? I'm treating myself this month. I am using the chocolate covered cherry and I'm not feeling bad about it. I'm just going to dump half of this in my bathtub and I'm going to have a chocolate covered cherry bathtub. Um, also strawberry pound cake. Oh my goodness. I love strawberry pound cake in the shower. And don't forget, I just got this one too. I think they smell the same. I really do. I'll use these up. I, like I said, I don't really collect shower gel as much. My collectibles are in um, the mist. This is the one that I want to keep to show you guys the packaging. A couple of other ones. Oh, the pear creme brulee. That's the new one. I've used this a lot. I like this is the one that I've used because it's the one I have. <laughs> Blueberry sugar pancakes. I can't stand this one um, in the mist. It's too sweet. I love it in the shower, though. It's just so sugary. <laughs> My family likes that one, too. Um, I have a Belize. I'm like, I'm using up Belize. This is that banana daiquiri. I'm like, I'm turning my shower into like a tropical paradise here. <laughs> um, Bonfire Bash. I have one of the older ones. I'm like, I like this. This is another one. I kind of debated putting this in here because this reminds me a little bit of fall, but since they brought it out in the summer, I'm like, I can I can take it. So um, I love Bonfire Bash. You know, this is like my all-time favorite in the fall. So I'm like, I'm going to use that one up. Black Cherry Merlot. I love Black Cherry Merlot year-round. Oh my gosh, that's a great uh, shower gel. And then I also pulled my Old Pink Watermelon. Oh my gosh, my daughter loves anything with watermelon. So I know she's going to use that one up. But I'm kind of looking forward to, more than I thought I would, the Tropical Collections coming up. Now, we're supposed to be getting another collection. Um, there's clouds in the name. <laughs> I know I saw uh, Life Inside the Daily Page has been posting about these. I cannot wait to see some of the new stuff. I'm looking forward to spring. Anything with... Believe it or not, I'm looking forward to like fresh cut lilac um, only because I'm really craving flowers right now. I, I seriously, as bad of a winter as we've had, plus this whole health problem with my husband, I literally just want to like go outside when I see the grass and just lay down in the front lawn <laughs> and just soak up the sun. I do. I know this sounds really weird. I am so looking forward to warm weather and spring. You know that smell you get when the snow is gone and spring starts to come? It's like mud and like, you know, you can smell the flowers a little bit, you know, once the flowers start coming. I love that smell. It's funny, as a teenager, I used to love fall and I still love fall. Don't get me wrong. But I have a new appreciation for spring now. I cannot wait to just smell the fresh spring air coming out. So anyway... Thank you so much for watching. Uh, let me know your number one uh, use it ups for February, but I think we're just gonna we're just gonna spoil ourselves and go through this whole bin. I'm dumping the shower gel, you guys. I'm dumping it in the bathtub, and I'm gonna enjoy myself. <laughs> I'll see you guys later. Bye bye.